Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon at your soul. I come and, and, and make this brief message. I, I thank you so much for, for tuning in. And, um, and, and uh, so I, I don't know how you feel. I, I, I've been, I've been um, knocked on the head by Pluto, like not last night, but the night before. It was like I went into a state of despair so deep. It was like, it was like I burned a year of karma in this one night. I was like so desperate and the morning spirit came to pick me up, but it was really, really, really intense. And and uh, this plan, this um, this, uh, this 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 transit of Pluto will really be. Uh, it's it's going to be if we if we don't change, we're going to suffer. Right? It's like so we may as well accept it and transform. I'm also been working with the planet Chiron. For Chiron is um, it's quite important to talk about it now. Um, it is a small planet that's very fast. It's considered to be a comet in the traditional astronomy, but it, that orbits between Saturn and Uranus. It's a very fast planet. It's a planet settled in light and life. It's a wonderful world. And, um, and, and Chiron is, uh, is, is the, the most important planet in my, in my chart, as it was conjuncting my sun in my natal astrology. And is the wounded healer. It's a planet of teaching and and um, and, and healing, and and so it is. Uh, it is also uh, where my master guides reside, as well as my soul and my monad. So it is a very powerful. Uh, but it, it is um, uh, from an uh, from historical point of view, or mythological point of view, Chiron was the only uh, centaur, centaurus, um, with half man, uh, half horse. That, that, that possess wisdom and an eternal life. The other one were like brutal beasts. And so, so Chiron was, um, was, was the, the initiator. He was a great initiator. He's, he's a spirit, uh, a great initiator of uh, Escupios, the god of medicine, his daughter, Panacea, he, she who knows all the plants, and Igea, the prevents illness, and, and all the, the heroes of mythology. He was the, the, the educator, the teacher. And at some point, he was teaching Heracles. He was, he was assisting Heracles, or uh, I think it's uh, yeah, Heracles. Hercules, in, in Roman terms, in Greek, um, in, in his, in his um, effort to, to fulfill his mission for Hera. And, and uh, at some point, he was supposed to, he, he was, some of his mission was to, to kill the other centers. And, and so, he, uh, um, so Chiron made a um, potion, a poison made with the, the with the the blood of the uh, Hydra, and uh, and then uh, but during the battle, Chiron got wounded. So so because he got wounded, he was immortal. He couldn't die, but the wound could never heal. So he was the wounded healer, and eternally he would carry this wound, which would make, from an astrological standpoint, he makes us uh, it makes us sensitive to the pain of others as well. So we can and, and shows us our pain from an, uh, it shows us our pain, so we can heal it. Uh, eventually, there was the mercy and compassion. Passion that that was that was offered uh, in this mythological story when at, at the time of the marriage of, of Tethys, Tethys was a, a nymph, beautiful beautiful young goddess, uh, and both Zeus and and Poseidon were both in love with her. But but the oracle told them that if they had a child with her, this child would become so powerful he would dethrone them. So he said, well, we got to marry her, and so they married her with Pele, and uh, and the gift that Zeus gave him. Chiron, uh, for the, the freedom to Chiron, Chiron could have given his immortality to Pele and he could ascend, he became the, the Sagittarius, the, the, the great center of astrology. So Chiron is a very important planet, a very important energy and it's, uh, it's, really, uh, it's, it's really the energy of healing. So, so I just saw them. For its like spirit was like my soul was like, how much can I endure? It was like more than I could take to stay in my integrity. So I had to let go at some point, and it was really really hard. And although I self sabotaged certain aspect of my future because of that, because I couldn't bear the the, the, the emotional intensity, and that brings me back to the the understanding that um, God enjoys suffering. It's like well. Like God. It's a very difficult con con concept to understand. Even the divine counselors that are the, the beings from paradise, that are the revelator of God, is the most qualified being to speak about the creator, the, the great source and centers. Um, he said, well, we, we've been told that God suffers, but we do not understand the nature of his suffering. For God, the suffering of God, it must be minuscule within this great unity of of, of, of yeah. So, so, But if God didn't know suffering, he would not be omniscient. 
So, so it's like he has to to know. But so it's a, and and from from our limited my limited perspective, I'm just sharing my thoughts and idea. We're also unique, different on different paths, different ideas, different. So I'm just sharing my my own thing here. But it, it, it's like that. Uh, um, this uh, it's like I feel that my soul is completely indifferent to my emotional pain. Not and of course it's a, it's an illusion because my soul knows and and. and, and and, and take in consideration everything that is going on, but but it's like there is no emotion on the upper plane. Emotion is the, the no physicality, and there is no emotion. So therefore, they're the seeing things from a very different standpoint. And, it's, and when when you are, when you deep despair and you're like on the borderline of wanting to to end this incarnation, it's like it's, it's like. Um, it's like it was really uh, how much can I bear? You know how much can I take? For I'm I'm very optimistic person. I'm ninety five percent of the time I'm I'm very optimistic. But but the, the the deeper you go within the, the within yourself, the more the, the, the those little time where you you go into the the depths of the, the of darkness of illusion of darkness of emotional pain, the the more unbearable, the more difficult it is. For, for it's like when when the sleeping population there is there is joy and sorrow. There is ups and downs, but but basically it's like it's it's nothing compared to, to when you 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 are in the in the deepest um, in the deepest uh, layers of yourself. Well, I'm gonna pull a few cards. So uh, so, so ignorance is bliss in many ways, huh? um, but uh, but it, you know it's like the omniscience of it within the the. the, 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 the we have to accept that the long suffering spirit is accepting the long suffering within the, the process of the universe. Sometimes we're just like, well, no, I don't want to take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Everybody, everybody cries. Everybody hurts. But me, I couldn't even cry. For cry is wonderful. It releases the tension. It's like something unique to this plane. Uh, but I couldn't cry because I've cried all the, the tears in my body in my first Saturn return. And I don't have this this option, so I have to bear it in like uh, to deal it in a different way. But uh, if if you feel like you have to cry, do it. It's an, uh, maybe not exposing yourself to the world when you're doing it in private. But but it's it's like essential to, to something you need to release. It's like they release blockages. It was not a luxury I have anymore, so I have to bear it. But, but I was picked up by spirits in the morning. So the, the highest, the, the observer of the day is the, the milk and honey and the, the good things of life. It's really what we're prepared for, because when we burn this karma, when we, we, we accept to go through certain suffering, like Dante Alighieri in the Divine Comedy, the path of heaven, of paradise, starts in hell, and we got to go through the, all the unconscious, all the... So what what is the the highest wisdom is not for you. There is certain things that certain sacrifice that we need to make in order to achieve what we need to achieve. We have to the certain things are not for us, and then whatever is really for us will come back. What we need to understand is a deep knowledge to accept this connection, this deep knowledge, deep knowledge that comes from within and above. What we need to do is the faithful heart, to be true to ourselves, to be true to our friend, to be true to the love that we feel, and to be true to our soul and soul plan. <clears throat> for, for it's like I was trying to, to get rid of, of an energy, a connection. Um, but spirit is say, well, it's like we deprive this person from, because it wasn't just the time, it's just a matter of time, uh, the, from, from this or destiny, and it would deprive me of much joy in the future. So, so I'm, I just had to step away. And it's like, I feel like, it's like every so often, for every 30 years ago, I was really in love with an unavailable woman. And it's like, I feel like it's like, it's returning now, 30 years later, and maybe I, in 30 years, I'm going to have to go through another one of those episodes. Uh, and, but but it's so it's like we, we have what we have to do and the outcome will be the soulmates and so so there is great really a wonderful uh, there is wonderful uh, deep love connections that is being prepared and for for like uh, we were not meant uh, no man is an island we're not meant to live alone while well, sometimes we need some time alone to, to make discovery to to explore ourselves to even if you're in a couple don't take your time to be alone trust that you, you need this time to to be a good to, to learn your own company and to well, i'm just expressing my, i think it's many scientists and many philosophers will tell you those who cannot be alone will 
will be stuck in a in a low cycle. But well, I've been asking the has been asking the, the spirit to get rid of all the, the demons and the, all the dark the dark controllers on the planet because they're, they're like they're, they're having such a good life and 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 such an ease in, in in making a tyranny for everybody else when we're like having to deal with living and bread and butter alone, not even butter, bread and water. I'm sorry, that's what I. So so it's like well, there's a little butter, but not all that much. And it's like and, and they are like uh, they're like uh, oh yeah 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 we, we we're so powerful, we're so beautiful, and we're gonna impose you a misery. It's like so it's like. So I, I was petitioning for for, for this uh, for, for when you pray, it's like you're making a phone call to spirit. So continue to pray, very important. Pray, 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 pray. But when you make a petition, it's like you 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 you're sending um you're sending a a, a letter with um you 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 you're sending a letter um, um the word the word in English uh, I take a note uh, it's like uh, it's like you you you're sending a you, it's, it's like you, you you're making it a letter and you're making it official right? it's like it's, it's a, but i was trying to, to petition the gods of paradise we don't intervene within what's going on in the universe you go to your father mother god or the ancient of days and that's why you make your petitions but but i think all is in the work huh? All is in the world because we, it's 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 not going to be it's, it's very unbearable to see all those demons in control of the world making this world a misery and destroying the planet. It's like it's just nonsense. And and there is a calm down from from the from the galactic, the fifth and sixth dimension that they're going to intervene sooner or later. For history repeats itself, and it's like new lessons, but it's like fresh lessons. But everything goes in circle. So with the observer of the day is the breakthrough. So it's really uh, this breakthrough, and we're getting ready for this breakthrough. It's like the, it happened already. This new life, new energy. I felt it. In it was like after going through this hell. It was really hell. It was like I was really to say so if I had a gun that night, I would be gone. Huh? It's like, but um, thank God I didn't. But um, it's like. Uh, it, 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 then it, I, I went out this next day. It was like fresh, new energy, new nature, new life, new energy. For in the past, we have the, we have this empowerment. There is so much that we've been able to do that we, we we have to return to our empowerment, to our center. And right now, we are the power of Hermes, of the magician, of the the one. Now we are the one. The magic is within our hands. And in the future, we're gonna return to the ordinary. We we have to be careful within this ordinary, not to be uh, emotionally indolent, to be clear emotionally and not to allow the routine of things to we have to change our routine we have to change certain habits so we can compare so we can because un until we change we cannot compare things so so it's very important and then there will be a compromise there is certain compromise certain letting go of certain things that needs to be done and and then there was the confirming confirm right? it's a new vision right? it's the hangman and, and and then then the, the success the victory comes for, for in the invisible world there is already this new life and the trumpets of heaven it's already been decided on high and and we, we we're feeling that within ourselves right? it's a new New beginning that is really here it's called uh, beyond illusion and on, and on the physical world we have all kinds of possibilities so so we'll, we'll have to make choices the choices we make will determine our timeline and our future so um, but there is a page that really turned for me huh, after this deep depressive state it was like uh, for, for I, I was feeling I had a, such a wonderful life on the astral plane but I'm a prisoner of my circumstances and my physical body and I'm like so longing to to, to return home to return to my to, to the to the great gods of creation, to the source of reality. And uh, but I am grateful for what I have. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful to to be able to eat and and, and every day. <laughs> and uh, but but there is still so much more. You know, a man cannot live by bread alone. The fact that I cannot paint is like to me and like I'm going insane. It's like I've always been painting. It's been my the way I keep, can keep uh, my uh, my mental health, <laughs> so to speak. And so. But there is this countdown that is coming, and so so it's just, uh, and there is always um, there is always an arbitrage, uh, a judgment above our judgment, and thank God there is there is higher intelligence that are conducting this process. Um, but, and there is really the potential for this new beginning. Uh, it's like a new page. I saw the book. It's like the page is turning. There is a temptation of going back to the past. 
it's really tempting and so but uh, but we have to move forward we never go backward it's always about moving forward and trusting that what needs to be there will be there also when we seek to go into the to 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 seek the, the connection to the whole, it can be a bit scary because within the whole, there is the whole. There is the impure and the pure, the heavy and the light. And so it's like we were confronted with so, so many things that exist in the universe that beyond any fiction that we can ever dream of, both in the dark side as well as in the light. It's, the universe is far more grandiose than anything we can imagine. So it can be a bit scary, but it's it's part of the process. We have to trust, depending on where we set the bar. Huh? If we set the bar here, it will be okay. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we set the bar too high, and so so we're like, oh, I can't I can't fly above that. It's like too high. Um, but but if, if if a choice is anchored, the, the spirit will take the time to educate us step by step. And in the morning, I was privileged with an amazing. Uh, spirit connection so it's a spirit I've never had contact with and even it, it is, it's the spirit that's not known to communicate and uh, even on paradise God doesn't communicate it's the eternal son of paradise and he came to remind me that my, my because I was really depressed I was, uh, that my, 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 my incarnation will have a happy ending and it's like not to uh, and so it was quite wonderful for the the, the, the son is I've had many, many privileges in spiritual connection because of my my desire, my interest, my application, and, and the work I've been doing. For we all have one, and we all those things will unfold, uh, are unfolding at the right time. But I've been able to to be in contact for many, many years with the, the supreme being and the Hala, the, the one that is all, the cosmic mind, the, the the one that is all, the God of time and space. But also with the universal Father, the first source and center. That was great privilege. I now recognize that, uh, but I've never, I've never had the chance to, to to come in contact with the sun. I haven't yet uh, met the infinite spirit, the, the conjunct actor, the god of action, the, the the one that takes the plan of the father and the son and manifests the universe of universes and in their name. So it's the god of action, the great minister of all. But but the, the eternal son is is about. He doesn't love more than the father, but he loves differently. The father is love, but the, the son is ministry, is a, is a mercy, and, and the spirit is ministry. So, so, so it's like a, uh, the, the son is the first. The first person is like the brother, sister, mother of all beings. It's like, of course, those personalities are absolute personality. They are not. They're very, very different than what we know as personality. But but they're, they're absolute personality. They cannot change. They never change, and they're always together as one. Yet they take independent decision, and and so so the the, the attributes the. The the, the 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 nature and the qualities of, of those deities are very. Uh, it's actually what we study when we come, when we'll we'll have completely ascended in back into the source. We'll continue to 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 investigate those things, the, the quality, virtues, and attributes of each of the the great great source. It's, they're more wonderful than any of the manifestation. Them just beyond anything we can ever express. But but. Um, for the the the, love, the 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 eternal son is the spiritual administrator of all universe of universes of and beyond, but but they don't interfere with the universe of time. So I will continue to 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 maintain that connection. I will continue to turn to him. But it is really to turn. It's it's really wise to turn your prayer. You can turn your prayer to the first source and center, the universal Father. But the Father is better to just worship him for, just adore him or, or venerate him for for just being. And then the son administrate all that is, so, and then the spirit execute. So it's like uh, those being together are the, are the great I am. They, they, they always has been, always will be. And so, um, and and so I, I was like very, I felt very gr grateful and privileged to to, to be able to um, to come in contact. And um, for for we 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 passing through a lot of tests. Test, test for five, fifth, six, day, six dimension, or to be, how do we live within a unified field? But if we respond with a limited mind and judgment of the third dimension, we won't get as much as we are if we already um, able to open our mind to the fourth dimension, the upper planes of the fourth dimension, or beyond. 
and will get higher result. The more, the more we, the more our consciousness evolves, the more we'll be able to get a higher result to what our consciousness is. is our, we'll use more the opportunities that are given to us within our consciousness to unfold more result. For it's not like uh, on, on the earth uh, going to a school on the earth. When you go to school on the earth, you memorize certain facts, and then if you memorize them well, you pass the test, you have a diploma, and then you're done. No, it's like something you need to hold uh, is, uh, when you need to achieve uh, an elevated dimension. It's like you have to, uh, to, to to hold the frequency, to have it all always, always this knowledge that is maintained. And um, and also when we move into fifth dimension, it will be the group of the, the most ascended one that will hold the, qual the, the frequency of, of, of the light realm that we'll be living in. So continue to pray, continue to make your phone call. Very essential to call on to your creator, to call on to, to assistance of spirit as well and, and make your, your, your petitions. Huh? Uh, but we have to stay fl flexible, huh? um, to always stay flexible because it's, it's all about shared value. Uh, a lot of people in society, in short dimension, in the matrix, so to speak, we have a very, very different value than when we move into the spiritual ascension process. But it's not to judge them for their value, it's just to understand and, and stay flexible and, and, and adapt. Uh, we, it's not for them to adapt, they, they cannot do it, it's for us. If, we, are, if we, are, we have more advanced, then it's for us to adapt to, to their level, to be concord, to be, to be in harmony with all that is, with their level of consciousness. Yet we seek to, to align with other people that share our values. Values and meanings are values are felt, meanings are understood, are something that unfold progressively. For now, we're learning to, to integrate the values and meaning of the supremacy, the time and space, goodness, truth, and beauty. Then there will be a higher meaning in transcendental reality, and when we're looking for the ultimate, and eventually to discover absolute value and absolute meanings to reality. But that's that's still a bit in the future. For ab absoluteness, the deity absolute would be the is an experiential part of, of deity that would be the combination of uh, of the sum of of infinite value the, that are both held by the father the son and the spirit well, those are a bit complicated but well in a sense understand the, the power of pluto coming into this sign uh, but it will be it will it really is going to be assisting to clearing up a lot of things yet it's it's going to be a we're going to move into a new model of reality but it's going to be a lot of pain and suffering in letting go of the old huh? so just do, do not judge yourself in the process and do what brings you joy. Yeah? Uh, I've realized two past lives also too. I was revealed to me uh, two of my incarnation. It's kind of interesting this idea of past, all those past incarnation. For we are not those those old incarnation, the incarnation we had, but it's part of what get us where we are now. And, and uh, for I, I've been revealed fifteen, about fifteen, twenty. Um, Past life, where I really had an impact on history, it was quite. And it's kind of interesting to see, uh, to, to see what kind of impact you left in history. It's like sometimes they say, "Well, they're talking about me. Yeah, they're talking about me. Yeah, they're talking about me." More or less uh, positive or negative, usually pretty positive. And um, but this was like anonymous life that I had. One was like a, I was a cowboy. I had a white hat and I was riding. It was just a short, short image, short vision that I was, and I was riding on a horse, a Mustang horse. It was a white horse with a, a black and brown uh, patches. It was really just when I had these big boots and so on. And the other life I, I, was, I was, I was, the other life that was revealed to me was I was a gladiator. I was huge, I had like arms like this. It was like I was a huge gladiator, and I was like coming down of a chariot to. to Go into a fight. It was really interesting because, like, well, we, so we we could be shown like really painful things from our incarnation, but when the Akash opened, they're kind. They're showing us just what we can handle at the time. They didn't show me the fight that I was doing. They're just showing the, the form I had when I was going into the into this. So I, it was it's interesting. And eh? we have to be light as much as possible. But uh, I'm really. Um, I'm, I'm really glad that I traversed that time and I, I made it through. So it's like, uh, so I just thought I'd come and, and share this this moment with you. I thank you so very much for continuing to cultivate your, your sense of self, to accept, to go through whatever you need to go through in order to find your point of freedom, your abundance, your joy, your your liberated states and to be supportive to one another, to, to be to be kind to yourself, to be forgiven to yourself and to others as well. 
And uh, I'm going to finish with a song. On, on the French video, I sang this very romantic song called The Lady in Red. But So I sing another song. This one is more, um, um, I thank you so very much for your, for your donations. It's really uh, assisting me to survive in this moment. And, uh, and, and for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Let's so finish with a song. It's a song of Bob Dylan. It's a more philosophical song. It's called Blowing in the Wind. It goes like this. How many roads must a man walk down Before you can call him a man? How many seas must a white dove sail Before she sleeps in the sand? Yes, how many times must the cannonball fly Before they forever bend? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind the answer is blowing in the wind. Yes, how many years can a mountain exist before it is washed to the sea? Yes, how many years can some people exist before they're allowed to be free? Yes, how many times can a man turn his head and pretend that he just doesn't see? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. Yes, how many times must a man look up before he can see the sky. Yes, how many years must one man have before he can hear people cry? Yes, how many deaths will he take till he knows that too many people have died? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. For the people everywhere are waking up in Israel. People do not want this war that they're, they're trying to impose. And they, they want, everybody wants peace. It's only certain elements within certain government that are forcing the, the conflict. And so it's very important to, there is no really choice to allow these things to happen yet, uh, to, 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 be, uh, to be supportive to all the awakening to towards peace. And peace is very essential. Uh, this is probably the, one of the most important song. Well, Bob Dylan wrote a number of important songs. Um, but uh, it's, it's very important in, in the 1960s with the, the hippie movement there was really this awakening that started towards the peace and love huh? make love not war huh? it's so much more important to have babies making babies than, than, than killing each other hmm. well I'm going to pull a few cards well, it is the, the observer of the day's destiny we, we're here to fulfill our destiny to, to, to climb the stairway to heaven the highest wisdom is to listen, to listen to life, listen to your heart, listen to, to what vibrates well, and to, to, to be aware that there is a mirror of life and spirit is within all beings and all things, so we can communicate directly from, 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 from the heart to the heart, even beyond the consciousness of, those, of other people, that may, other people may reveal to you certain very important information without being aware in the human consciousness that they're doing that. It is the spirit within them that goes directly into your consciousness to assist you, to reflect you, to, to guide you. This great I am collective presence is quite wonderful. We thank them so much for their, their love and their guidance and their and what we need to understand is the is justice, and we're gonna to have to bring true justice in the plan. It's gonna feel so good after all those times to to see real justice, divine justice. For divine justice is infinitely perfect. Just human human will in his in his in his um, administration of power has been completely uh, offline, and, and, and a lot. But it's be, everything. All the injustice are becoming we're becoming more aware of it. Um, 
And we have to let go of our own judgment in relationship to, to what we think is justice. For sometimes it is not. Huh? So we have to trust that the, the, there is a middle road, a middle line that is wanted. And for that, what we need to do is to be compassionate, to be loved, to, be, to love ourselves and to love the world, love others, to love the planet, assist, uh, to, to make good deeds, to be, to be always, to always find opportunities to assist rather than wait for the opportunity to find us. And the outcome is the reward. And with this great reward, it's like sometimes the, the rewards are held back. It's like we have this cosmic bank account in the fifth dimension, and we've been, we've been um, accumulating great wealth up there as we continue to cultivate this sense of this sense of um, of self and uh, and service. And at some point, we're going to make a, this big re- withdrawal that are going to be coming down, and we're going to be rewarded for all our efforts. And, and nothing is in vain. Uh, every every effort to do good to 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 become more lucid, to, to, to become more compassionate and to, to activate our courage we will definitely be rewarded. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I thank you so very much. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.